Uh, all summer long, my rabbits have been out grazing. In the spring, they do the cover crops in the garden. And then in the summertime, I have them actually grazing in the yard. They still get supplemental hay and feed. Obviously, they have water in their shelter. I have a whole video, video on the bun run that I built. Um, but now, it's getting cooler. <laughs> and they need to come in. So let me show you where they go and what I use to keep their little tootsies safe and warm uh, from the cold. Okay, so the area that I'm standing in now was originally a calf birthing stall to the farm. This stall was divided into two sections and it has concrete on the floor and a trough that all um, residue from the floor can be washed out and then it washes out through a pipe that goes to the outside of the barn. Regardless, what we use this for was our coop. But now that I have a more permaculture approach to keeping birds outside, free ranging 24-7, 365, because that's what they prefer. I have a video on that. If you're curious about how I keep them safe, go check out that video. Since they're out there, I no longer need this space for the birds, which means that I can use it for my rabbits. So in the winter time, in order to keep them safe and warm, I actually put them in here. Let me show you what I'm using. First thing I'm gonna use on this floor is this pet bedding. It's actually a hemp product. This is not an ad, I'm just telling you what I use. If you watched my tulip video, then you probably saw that I also use hemp, chopped hemp as a mulch um, for some of my plants, including tulips. And I just like it because I think it's a little bit better at retaining moisture, absorbing it and holding it. A Little bit goes a long way, so I'm just going to spread this around the floor for a nice litter. Okay, the other thing I use inside the little cat house that I use as a rabbit house in case there needs to be extra installation for the rabbits is these pads. These are actually meant for chicken coops. They're just little inserts for nesting boxes. This is all a uh, biodegradable material. It's hemp on the top and on the bottom, it's like this, I don't know, like a craft paper. Uh, but I used this when I had a different rabbit house, like I called it the rabbit apartment, and I would put this in the area that they had designated as their sleeping quarters. I put this now inside the little house and they love it. Not only do they try to dig in it and use it as like an enrichment tool, but I can just throw the whole thing in the compost. It's amazing. New one. Hey girl. Okay, so that's about it. I've divided the duck brooder area off that's originally in the coop um, into half sections. This one, the wiring isn't as secure. It works for ducklings, but it doesn't work as well for the bunny. So that area is quarantined off, which is great in case we have unexpected babies coming. Uh, this area is designated for the rabbit. It's a good size area, big enough to accommodate, which is kind of a large house. There we go. Hiding over there by the bathroom. And got our hay pile, feed, bedding, and water source that I just filled. So this is the little rabbit area for the winter time. Um, early spring, when I start ripping out, chopping and dropping my cover crop in my growing spaces, that's when the rabbits start to go outside during the day and come in at night as it still gets cool in the evenings but is warm enough by day. And that way they can also acclimate to being on fresh forage 24 seven again. Eventually when it's warm enough, they are out on fresh grass all day, every day. They're perfectly safe in their mobile pen that I've created. Again, check out the video on the bun run. We also have livestock guardian dogs that protect the property so we don't have to worry about predators. Um, but this keeps the wind and any added precipitation off of the rabbits uh, while they are in the barn. Thank you so much for watching. I put the links for all of the materials I'm using, um, including the bedding and these nesting pads in the show notes.